Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this video we're going to go over shaders and uh, how the shadows and lighting algorithms work in 3ds Max. So I've popped open the material editor, uh, just these three objects, uh, this nice blue color going. Um, the uh, shader is the kind of basic after the template, after you select your template and are kind of tweaking in what uh, you want the material parameters to be, the shader is the kind of most effective thing that you can change. So by default here, I'm, I'm just using a standard, the standard material. Um, I made it this kind of blue color. And uh, the first parameter that drops on the drop down menus down here are the shader basic parameters. So sh shader defines the shadows, how the lighting is going to fall off of an object. Uh, so you can see here this blin is the standard one. It's used in a, a lot of the materials. Um, it's named after a guy named blin. Did uh, this algorithm for this really kind of basic uh, material that's been used a lot. Um, so you can see there are a fair number of options down below this. So once you have blend chosen, blend basic parameters, it gives you self illumination, opacity, specular highlights, the color, all that great stuff. So you start messing around with the specular highlights, and you can see uh, it's changing the light and the highlights on it. And when you change that, you can kind of see what kind of material it's it's looking like. Kind of a generic plastic type thing. So if you drop down the blend menu, you can do a, a slew of them. Metal is a lot different, so you can see that's changed a whole bunch. Uh, with metal, you can crank up the specular highlights a, a lot more, and uh, you can see how metallic that one's looking. Um, this is the specular curve down here, you can see, so that's changing it a lot and uh, now it's metal basic parameters so uh, there, it's going to be a look of a little bit differently and then uh, or or nair blend down here is uh, quite different this has a roughness to it uh, this advanced diffuse level so you can hone that in and you can see that's kind of a, a little bit more rough plasticky feeling or that can be used for a lot of different things with the roughness factor. Uh, Strauss as well has a completely different flavor. This just has a gloss factor. So kind of more of a painted feel. So those are basic uh, shader parameters and how you choose the, the different shader and choosing the different parameters for the specific shader. So play around with those and uh, figure out which one suits your needs.